This video is sponsored by Squarespace, but I'll tell you more about them later. I can't believe I haven't thought of this until now. I'm John, and if you're new here, I do pencil drawings. So a lot of the questions I get are how do I get large dark backgrounds and the way that I do that is by grinding down 9B graphite powder. I've used store-bought graphite powder before but often it's a little bit lighter than 9B graphite powder, I'm not sure why. So I have to buy these graphite sticks and I grind them down with sandpaper. At first I was using just normal sandpaper and it would get stuck in the grooves of the sandpaper and it was quite tricky to try and get out and then I found this drywall sandpaper that has all these holes through it so the graphite powder just falls through it. I can gather it together and use that in my drawings. It's always a little bit tedious though, um, so I'm trying to find a different way of grinding down my graphite. But let me just show you what I've been doing for the last while. So I'll take a graphite stick and I'll just grind it. It's a lot of time for a kind of minimal amount of graphite. Also your hands get super filthy and I feel like there's a better way to do this. So the, the way that I use graphite powder is often with cotton wool or a brush or a makeup sponge and we can go into that in another video but it's always useful. I'm always running out of graphite powder pretty quickly. So Jess and I ran to some secondhand stores and we wanted to try and find a solution to the grinding of the graphite. So we found a bunch of really old cool tools that we might be able to jerry-rig into something that can grind graphite, but I haven't tested them out at all. So I'm quite keen to test them out and see if we can design something that'll speed up the process. Some of the things to consider is how fine you get your graphite powder. If any of these things can't grind the graphite as fine as this, it's not gonna really work. So this is kind of our base level. We need to get this fine or even better. So we've got this really old coffee grinder. We've got an old grinding stone grinder. So this is actually a meat cutter. We've got this weird thing, which is actually a pea peeler. We have a hammer and then we have some graphite sticks that have volunteered themselves to be sacrificed and we're gonna slowly destroy them. We have this, which is a peach peeler. We put a notchy on it to try and test it out and it doesn't work, but we can see what they were thinking. Does it clamp onto the table as well? Great. Okay. Let's go. Okay, I know what we do. We take the hammer, we bash a little bit, get it finer, and then we throw it in there. Graphite's actually pretty strong. Do you have any ideas on how to break this quicker? Yeah. What are you thinking? A chisel. Perfect. Oh, it's working now though. That feels so satisfying. It's actually not too bad, hey? But it's definitely not as fine as the other powder. So the next thing we have is a pea slicer. What's cool about this is that it's got these holes in it that kind of perfectly fit graphite sticks. That's the most <laughs> ineffective one yet. Okay, we are stuck. Yep, we broke it, okay. So now this is coming off. So that's the quality of, <laughs> of the pea cutter. I'm so excited. I think this is the one I'm the most excited for. Also, it's throwing graphite absolutely everywhere. So I thought this might've been neater than one of the other ones. It does grind it quite fine though. One of the interesting things about graphite is in a lot of heavy machinery, it's often used as a lubricant, and that's kind of what's happening here. So it ended up lubricating this stone and making it super, super smooth, actually reflective in a lot of areas. So that's that's causing quite a problem, and that's again why using this sandpaper was really useful, is because the graphite can just fall through and it doesn't kind of build up and create that super smooth surface. That's super fine. Okay, next thing which I'm quite excited about as well, is this bread cutter or meat cutter. So this one I think has the most potential to be like modified into something that could work. Oh, that actually just gave me an idea. If we did the same thing on the grinding stone on the side like this, because we were grinding this way. So maybe if we grind this way, we can attach a piece of sandpaper there. 
that solves our problems. So this is, oh, right, 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 okay. See if you can hit that with a hammer, the end of that. There we go. Yeah. Let's cut those holes a bit bigger, maybe. I'm just gonna force it. What grit is this sandpaper? I think 18. I think this is probably gonna be our winner. I'm really, I'm feeling really positive about this one. Check this out there. That's working really well. That's working really, really well. It's creating a lot of dust. It would be nice to have like a housing. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so nice. Check how fine this is as well. It's really fine. That's awesome. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna try and modify this one right here. At first I thought we might modify the meat cutter, but it looks like this is way more effective. It just spins so much faster, and I've been experimenting with grinding down some of my razors and things, and it's just so beautiful. But there are some things we can do to this to make it a little bit more effective for grinding graphite. So the first thing is to try and create a catchment area. So one of the issues with this is when we grind graphite really fast, the graphite kind of flies everywhere. So Jim and I were busy trying to figure out how we might be able to design a catchment area. Our thinking is to have a block of wood and then carve out an area where the graphite can fall into. So this here would be the gully. So as this spins, the graphite will fall down into here and we'll be able to kind of brush it out into a tray that I can hold over there. So that'll be the first prize, that'll be perfect. What this will entail is for us to go to a place called Ray Woods in Cape Town, which is really, really lovely. They stock all kinds of beautiful, beautiful wood. And I think we're gonna carve that out and then sand it really fine so that the graphite doesn't get caught in any of the wood fibers or anything like that. So it'll be a really lovely experience. The next thing is we're gonna need to try and minimize the amount of graphite that flies off of the wheel. The idea to try and do that would be to have these walls on the side here. I'm not sure if they should be as far as they are there. I'm thinking maybe having something a little bit closer to the spinning wheel would be a bit better. The front of the wheel over here, we're gonna plan on attaching bits of sandpaper. So now we're just using sandpaper discs, but we'll see if we can use like an angle grinder disc or something like that. And basically bolt that on. We might actually have to use drywall sandpaper just so that the holes don't get clogged up and I'll have to replace it very often. If I use drywall sandpaper, the odds are that it might be able to work for quite a couple of months at a time. What I'd love to be able to do as well is to be able to grind down my erasers to make them quite sharp. So I'm thinking of using the top edge of the stone here and adhering sandpaper to the top of that edge. So I can use that to sharpen my erasers, which will give me those fine points and will just be really, really lovely. I think best case scenario would maybe be to have two of these grinders attached to my table and that would be an absolute luxury. One, I can just grind down my graphite powder whenever I need to, it won't be too much work. And the other will be to grind my eraser tips, which will happen quite often actually. So this whole exercise was a pretty big success. I didn't think we'd find something that I'd really use in my everyday practice as much as I think I'm going to be using this. So I've been working with this thing for a couple of days now and it's changing the way that I work in the studio. This is what I've done to my pencil, which is so beautiful and it's so nice to use this ridiculously sharp pencil. But the way that I work with blending stumps has changed now as well. I've been able to refurbish these to a point that is better than it was when I bought them, which is nuts. And then these graphite sticks as well, being able to grind them down, which was the original idea, but now it's just a whole lot faster and easier. I can't believe I haven't thought of this until now. Before I end this video, I just wanna give a quick shout out to this video sponsor, Squarespace. I've been working with them for a couple of years now and they've played a huge role in my career, not only in sponsoring these videos and helping me maintain this channel, but early on in my career, I was looking for a way to just very quickly build a beautiful website that just did everything. I needed to find a way to showcase my work and make it easy for clients and collectors to find me and get in contact with me. And I felt that Squarespace did that effortlessly. I never had to patch or upgrade anything. I could register a domain with them and set up an online store. And most importantly, I could design a portfolio and show my work the way that I wanted to. Also, Every time I got stuck, their amazing support team helped me out instantly. So if you're looking at building a website, give Squarespace a try. And if you decide that you love them, use the software code and get 10% of your first purchase. So I'm really excited about this project. I love tinkering and trying to find ways to just make the drawing experience a little bit quicker, a little bit more efficient. And then the process of building custom made things is also just super fun. It's nice to surround your space with things that have a story behind them and to slowly build up the way that you work in your studio. So there's a bit of an ethos here that I'm also just kind of tapping into and embracing. But yeah, I can't wait to be working with these beautiful materials. Refurbishing this grinder is gonna be a lot of fun and really rewarding. And the wood that we're gonna be using is beautiful. I can't wait to show you guys. So yeah, make sure that you subscribe for the next video so that you don't miss out on anything. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.